Hello, we're gonna do an unboxing. Um, you hardly ever see my face, but I'm gonna do this uh, today. So um, our unboxing comes from occultishemporium.com. And is it gonna put that backwards? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll watch it when we're done and see if it's backwards. Um, but this is the packaging that it came in. So if you're new to my channel, I usually do tarot readings. Um, I do some crystal information other stuff when it um, inspiration strikes or when spirit calls me to share something. So um, I was on the lookout for a like a subscription box. I put a call out on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok and was like, hey, what are your favorite witchy subscription boxes? And I got nothing. <laughs> so I went on the search myself. I came across this one on Instagram. Um, oh, I'm somebody they're watching football so if you hear things that's what's going on i'm gonna be in here doing what you should so um i got nothing so i did my own research i found this one um so if you are still kind of a broom closet which maybe not the best choice because the packaging is very like cool if you're um open about your practices but if you're trying to keep things a little sh uh the packaging will give it away just so you know um but i love it it's just everywhere as above so below and then it's got their socials and everything so this is the packaging that it comes in hopefully i didn't just oh no i covered my address with a sticker so um before i get into the box i want to share with you what the box is about and what the company is about because it's not just um it's not a subscription it's just a mystery kit um they have different kinds of mystery kits. They have themed kits. They have, this is just, you know, they have all that you can buy just one off stuff too. But I wanted to get like, I, I like the unveiling of something that I don't know what it's going to be. So I, 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 I like the unknown, I guess. So um, I'm going to pull out my thing and read from their website just so that you guys can understand what exactly it is. Because every box is not the same. They are um, individually made. You can um, leave pertinent information in the order details. So there's like a note section when you're checking out that um, you can put and they suggest possibly birth sign, preferred type of magic, um, your favorite color, etc. So what I think I remember putting in there because it, it, it their shipping does take a little while, so if it's not Amazon, you're not going to get it second day. It is hand-picked items for you based on what you put in the um, in the information as well as intuitively chosen by them. So um, I think what I put, and I, I could probably look it up if I felt like digging any further. I'm, I, I know I put Chaos Witch. Um, I might have put my signs, I'm a Cancer Sun, Leo Moon, Taurus Rising, and Venus, um, in case you're wondering. And um, I might have put LGBT stuff in there. I can't remember exactly what I put in there. Um, but this, they have different, they have a small, medium, or large starting at 25. I got the large, um, which would have nine plus items in it. Um, the small is three to seven items, medium is seven to 10, large is nine plus. And the kits are created based on what's available and, you know, the intuition and the notice that, you know, the things about yourself that you put in there. Um, but it should match well with your information, your Zodiac. Um, there's a lot of information in here. Um, she does ship once a week to accommodate for COVID restrictions. Um, so there's a little notice about that and how long expected time it says 15 to 18 days to process and ship. Um, mine actually, I was tracking it and it shipped a while before I got it. And like I had two different packages and they were stuck at the Bell, California, um, like sorting station or postal, whatever for like ever at that one, two items and not this one, but the other one came from the same state I live in. So it came from, went from Arizona to California, got stuck there for a week, at least a week, and then came back to Arizona. So like, I don't know, poor postal system, they can't keep up. But um, yeah, so that's the information from their website. Let's get into the box. Na, 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 na. I have it backwards. All right. 
So like I said, this is the large box, which I'm going to be honest, first impression, um, the large box, I paid $55 plus shipping, I believe. Um, I think it ended up being over $60 to get all together. And when I opened my mailbox and like, it's like two hands, like it's kind of heavy, but I was like, Ooh, that's the large box. So the large it has nothing to do with the actual size. And, um, let's see, let's just see. I'm so excited. I, this has been sitting here waiting for an opportunity for me to open it with you guys. Okay. Magic awaits you. Uh, we all have magic inside. Welcome. So they also have an academy. They have free lessons, free information. Their website is packed full of information in addition to being a shop. So you can learn about practices and also purchase things relating to that. So I just, I'm on there a lot. So the card that was chosen is the 10 of swords. I don't know what, like what deck this is from, but look at the back of the card. It's gorgeous. I don't know what deck that's from. Um, it's the 10 of swords. And as a tarot reader, I, I know the Ten of Swords represents the ending of things. I'm going to leave it at that for now. Um, but also, I'm really drawn to the fact that I think it's it's a peacock or a pheasant um, that has the swords. Which, <laughs> to me, reminds me of the Nine of pentacles yes the nine of pentacles the single ladies card where that's what i call it um where she's got like the bird her bird on her finger perched and she's surrounded in luxury and um so i really feel a connection between those two cards um i know what that means for me and we're just gonna leave it at that all right a sticker a sticker and then mystery witch crit witch kid can i speak today so what's in the witch kit and it has a big long list um and i believe this is things that could be in there so this isn't everything that's in there um that's you know what could be in there that way they don't have to print a separate list for every person um okay so ultra spell love spell house spells all right, so these are actually little spell cards. So there's a lot on here. I don't know if you want me to read them fully, but I will I will read one. I already had the altar spells up. So it says, on a Sunday or any day you need encouragement, set aside a half hour of quiet time and brew up some willpower to help you in a creative endeavor. Light a white candle anointed with peppermint oil and then light spicy incense cinnamon works well if you can get it um, take a sprig of mint warm milk and cinnamon sticks and stir the milk clockwise with the mint and cinnamon in a white mug and say aloud herb of mint and spicy mead today is the day i shall succeed in every word and every deed with harm to none so mote it be and then it says quaff the cup quaff quaff i don't know just don't accidentally say the wrong word um and sit for a spell eyes closed envisioning your new horizons keep the cinnamon sticks on your altar as a symbol of the power and encouraging words so there are little spell cards they're very like card like like a tarot deck or a card deck they are pretty sturdy all right crystal guide there's a crystal guide in here which kind of explains some of the more common crystals Gosh, I hope those aren't all backwards. And then another sticker. I may have put that I collect skulls. I'm not, crystal skulls. I'm not sure, but let's see what else is in here. Okay. Jasmine flowers. Um, yeah, just, okay, so it's a bag of jasmine flowers. I can already smell it without opening that, but there might be some other stuff in there that I can be smelling too. Yeah, it's definitely jasmine. That is actually a fairly good-sized bag of jasmine. 
All right. Oh, how cute. <laughs> These are cookie cutters. It's a witch's hat. I love this. And a bat. <laughs> I love it. Okay. All right. And then we have Rose Peony. Okay. Another bag of flowers, dried flowers. These are peonies. And it looks like there's several like whole full blooms in there that are dried. Now I will have to look up. It says beauty and health elixir. Uh, bath bomb, candle, soap, bath, decor. It says the same thing on the jasmine bag. Um, but I will have to look up what it, that is good for. Okay, another little thing. Oh yeah, we're going to save that to the end. Okay, this would be a cedar bundle, cedar, yes, a cedar sage, no, that's not sage, cedar um, smoke cleansing bundle, and we have wake up, bring magic into your life, spring, in the morning the sun shines on the quilt, wake up. Okay, that's where I was getting rose from. This is a candle, and it smells like roses. It smells really good, and it's not super artificially smelling, if that makes sense. Okay, we have something wrapped in bubble wrap, something in a bag. Okay, I will go ahead and open this one up. There's a pendulum in here. This is actually, I'm gonna grab, I have a couple of pendulums sitting right there. This is actually larger. It, it looks like it's tourmalinated quartz. So it is clear quartz with tourmaline like threads in it. Focus. You can see that even though it doesn't wanna focus, right? Very pretty, and it is actually larger than most of my other pendulums. If you can see the size difference, the green one is, I don't remember, dry, uh, bloodstone, I believe. You can see the size difference between my bloodstone one and the one that came in the package. Also, I have a moonstone. It's bigger than that as well. So it's a fairly large pendulum. I love it. And I do not have one that is terminated quartz like that. So that's very exciting. All right. On the bottom, there's a little bit of cedar dust that I'm actually going to gather up because all of these little, all of these little pieces that are down there, the, the shake, if you will, um, that can be burned as well. I, am, I do loose herbs on a charcoal disc sometimes, for instance, so that is perfect. Um, I will keep that. Nothing goes to waste. Magic awaits you. So like a little lined journal, just to, like to get started, you know, documenting things or to start a grimoire or a book of shadows. Um, but it's just lined paper. Magic awaits you. All right. So now let's get into the wrapped stuff. This, I think, is crystals. It's definitely crystals. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put my phone on silent, so I'm sorry if my phone buzzes in your ear. There's a lot of crystals in here. Oh no, that was my sister's. All right, so a little rough citrine. Um, most likely with all of that white, I would say that this is probably a treated amethyst, um, but can have the properties of citrine as well. I'm not 100% sure what this one is. Um, an agate of some kind. I don't think it's carnelian though. 
um, it does kind of have like the base color look. I'm not meant to have that one right now. There's, ooh, pretty, pretty. Okay, this is taped on here. It is, it has like, they have, there are protected, There, that's like tissue paper. Oh, I lost my shawl. Oh. It's cold in here. Give me that back. Okay. So it does have a little bit of tape on there, but I'll clean that up. A little clear quartz point. Little tower. It is flat on the bottom, so it does stand up. That would be great in a grid. Some. This looks like green event train. A little rough green event train, which kind of goes with my color today. Another rough green event train. Okay, this, this might be a rough fluorite. Let me brighten it up in here. That might be fluorite. I'm not sure, but it kind of looks like it might be fluorite. Is that too bright? Like my forehead is huge now. Um, this looks like red tiger's eye. It might be, no, because it's got the red in there. It kind of also looks like, uh, see, now you can't see it because I turned the light up too high. It kind of looks like tourmaline, um, just the texture of it, like the strandiness. I don't know what the word is, um, but it has the red in there. I believe that's red tiger's eye. And then... What witch's kit isn't complete without a little rose quartz? I mean, a nice big chunky rose quartz. And then the last thing in the box was this. A little jar nice little jar um, I will read through the cards and see if there's anything specific purpose wise for any of these things um, overall I want to say value for the money spent uh, you know I probably wouldn't have spent if I did this individually I probably wouldn't have spent that much on it but with the intention behind it added as a value um i would say that it's pretty fair so but yeah like nothing very specific like ingredients to do a certain thing um because it is just the mystery kit um they do have specific ones they have a specific one for shadow work they have different types of kits that are geared for specific purposes and I just kind of wanted to see what they had. So this is kind of like a taste of what they've got kind of um, kit. Uh, so yeah, I think I love what I got. I feel like I connected to everything here. Um, I love my candles. I do not have any jars this size. So that was nice. Um, but I feel like I could do something with multiple things in the kit. To achieve something so I do have that I do feel like I could use the jasmine and the peony um, I would do a little bit more research because I'm not familiar with the peony as much um, but yeah I feel like a lot of good stuff in here and uh, let me know what you think so I will see you in the next one I will be back to doing readings pretty soon and um, so yeah if you want to see more unboxings or if you have a um subscription that you get that you would like to share with me please leave it in the comments if you have referral codes i will use your link um so yeah let me know in the comments what you think and if you have a favorite that you use um so i can go check them out so thanks for watching and as always have a blessed day